Now the kicker, Brandon McManus, about ready to get us started. And we are underway here on EA Sports. This taken in at the goal line. And able to take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. First look at the Cowboys offense as Dak Prescott gets ready to guide them. Two years ago, we saw Dak Prescott carted off the field with a major injury. And two years later, here he is leading his Cowboys into the Super Bowl. What a rewarding moment for one of the league's most inspirational players. And that went a little too high as it's knocked away and incomplete. Well, if those at home were wondering if we were going to see some offense in this Super Bowl, I think your answer was right there. Incomplete, but they take a big shot early. Like the script, if they get the big play early, so much the... He's got a man complete. Touchdown, Cowboys. Michael Gallup with a first touchdown of this Super Bowl and a long one at that. And the Cowboys are on the board first here in this Super Bowl. Brett Maher on for the extra point. And this is up and good to make it 7-0 Cowboys. The long touchdown pass gets him six on a very, very tidy two-play drive that time. Following the touchdown, here's Marr to kick it away. Very short kick. This will be taken by one of the up men. And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape as they get it up past the 30. So first and 10 here for Wilson and the Broncos at the 34. They start the drive on the ground. It's Williams. And he'll be taken down right around the 34 after a pickup of only a yard. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. Wilson. And the Cowboys pressure gets there this time for the sack. Micah Parsons showing off that elite athleticism as he gets the sack. It's third and long now for Wilson and the Broncos after that sack. Operating from the gun, Wilson. And yeah, that's going to be incomplete. But man, his first throw, that nearly went the other way. Instead, it's fourth down. And on fourth down, on is the punt team sending this one away. That's pulled in at the 32. No, oh, a nifty juke there. Not much fun for a guy trying to tackle him. So a solid punt, but also a nice return there of 14 yards. And the Cowboys will take over the football with a first and 10. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. They've got a 7-0 lead in the football as well as a, a leap, and he's got it. He got it. And he's going to be taken down right at the 10-yard line. Well, after the standard two-week layoff, you always wonder, how's your offense going to respond and come out and play here in the Super Bowl? Well, they got a great answer right there and almost a sigh of relief on that side of the field because now they've got to feel like they can use their entire playbook and game plan for this one. Different story this time around. We had that huge gain followed by a sizable loss here. Now on second and 13, Prescott. A little juke, and he is into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. Dak Prescott, a 13-yard touchdown run. And the Cowboys will add to their first quarter lead here in this Super Bowl. Mar on for the extra point. And it's good, and they have jumped out here to a quick 14-0 first quarter lead. The drive there only spanning three plays. And it was all capped off by Dak Prescott, keeping it and taking it in on the touchdown run. Following the touchdown, here's Marr to kick it away. And he'll just take a seat, and the drive will begin at the 25-yard line. So now the second drive offensively coming up for the Denver Broncos. They trail early on in this Super Bowl as they come up first and 10. Here's Murray now as they run it to start the drive. 
And he stopped immediately there. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. Now Wilson. That's complete to the tight end, Saubert. And from the 25, they work this to the 29, a gain of four. Oh, it's time to give a little credit there to the defense. They played that very well because it was a drag route, and he ran a little shallower than normal as he worked straight across the field. He was hoping he'd get lost behind the defensive line. But once he made the catch, nowhere to turn up field and gain any yardage. And he will slide to a stop. He does have the first down. A very well-executed play. It goes for 29 yards. So from Cowboy territory now, here's first and 10 at the 42-yard line. And very little there. He might have gotten a yard. Yeah, I think he got a yard to the 41. That felt like a trap because it looked to me like the opposing front was on that play from the get-go. They had everyone crashing the ball carrier before he even made the line, and they hold him to just a yard. And this one is going to be off the mark, too far out in front. Well, that's a defense coordinator's got to be happy with that result. They took away all options downfield and forced the incompletion. On third down, Wilson. And that will be incomplete. This defense has certainly played well so far in this game, and the coverage has been tight on just about every throw. Forced a few here so far in this game, and now it brings up fourth down. And this one will not get there. It's off to the left anyway. It's no good, and this will remain a two-touchdown game. Well, Brandon, anything beyond 50, you start rolling the dice a bit. And once you get up around 57, 58 yards, the chances of making it go down dramatically. And sure enough, this one winds up no good. And oh, he took that in one-handed. What a grab. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. That's good for 28 yards. First and 10, Prescott. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. Well, so much for getting separation. No chance there. Locked down tight, forcing the incompletion on that attempt. A second down throw for Prescott. And that is incomplete. Nearly intercepted. The free safety couldn't quite get his hands around it, and it brings up third down. They'll throw again. Prescott. And here's a leaping catch. He pulled it in. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Everything's going right here in this first half, and they've got a good lead. And part of that can be attributed to their success on third downs. This is another conversion here, and they can look to really open things up now with this first and goal. Now Elliott. They yeah, give him five that time as they draw a bit closer here for a second and goal. Prescott. And this ball is caught by Lamb. Touchdown, Dallas. Two yards on the touchdown there. And the Cowboys are feeling good as they extend their lead in this Super Bowl. Boy, still in the first quarter. And look out. I mean, they are on pace for over 80 points in this game. I don't know that they'll get there, CD, but this has been impressive to watch so far. That certainly would be history in the making, wouldn't it, partner? I'm glad we're here to actually watch and see if it actually happens, although, like you, I have my doubts, but they are firmly in control of this game. So how about this for a start? 21-0 here in the first as they kick this one away. And he'll elect not to return this one, so they'll bring it out to the 25 on the touchback. Denver's offense now set to go. They trail early on in this Super Bowl as they come up first and 10. From the gun, it's Wilson. It's a short one here, complete to the tight end. He'll be dropped after a gain of about six across the 30 to the 31. 
Brandon, perfect defense in this situation would have meant that there was an incompletion that would have picked it off. Okay, so they gave up the completion. But I really enjoyed watching how the defense stayed in sync, stayed in great communication. And as he dragged across each zone, you see him pointing, communicating. There he is, and they passed him off to each defender. Ended up making a nice play, even though it was complete. They stay on the ground this time. It's Williams. And I don't think he got there. No, they stop him right where it all started. No gain on the play there. A nice job defensively. And it likely forces a punt situation on fourth. So they're forced to punt on fourth as this one's away. Taken in at the 22. Seven yards on the return after a punt of 39. And they will take over first and 10. Here's the Dallas offense now heading back out onto the field. And Charles, they're really stringing these possessions and scores together early. We're still in the first quarter, but if they can score again here, look out. Yeah, and as you taught me when we're broadcasting games, one word we're supposed to avoid, and that's blowout. But that's exactly what's going on here. Down three possessions just the first quarter. That goes beyond any worst-case scenario we might have thought coming into this game. And another touchdown here, that should eliminate any hopes for any type of a comeback. Ball on the 30 as they come up second and 10. Here's Prescott, flush to his right. Touchdown of this Super Bowl. And the Cowboys are starting to open things up here in this Super Bowl. Boy, CD, what a start for them. Still in the first quarter. They're absolutely blitzing them. All the points that they put up. I'm not sure what you say on the other sideline right now. I think it's as simple as this, partner. The way that they're playing, there's no limits on what this league could become. Extra point by Marr, up and good. And the route is on here in this first half. So this not what we expected. 28-0 here in the first as another kickoff is away. Short, short kick. One of the up middle take it now. And yeah, they'll be set up pretty nicely here as they have it up to the 35-yard line. The Broncos onto the field, ready to start their next drive. They find themselves in a good size hole here, in a good size hole early on in this game as they come up on first down. Toward the right sideline, but it's incomplete. Timing's crucial in any route thrown, but when you throw an out, so many things are going through the mind of the receiver. Catching the ball, timing it up with the quarterback. Are my feet going to get down inbounds? On that play, all those things going through his head might have caused him to drop it. Now a man open down the middle of the field. And they're going to get this up to midfield. And that's a more than acceptable read right there because it's zone coverage. So timing is everything. This time he waits for his man to come open, puts it right on him, and they pick up a first down. From midfield now, here's Wilson. And that one drops down incomplete. Good coverage there. Forced the ball free, and it's second down. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Here's Wilson to throw. He's got his 6'5 receiver. That's Tim Patrick. And he's going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at the Cowboys' 24-yard line. Off the play fake. Here's Wilson. And nowhere to fit that football in. It's knocked away and incomplete. So they'll come up after the incompletion for second down. Again, Wilson. Oh, that's into a double team, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Anthony Brown. And the Cowboys are going to have the football here at their own 18-yard line. Ah, oh, Brandon, this is a veteran quarterback back there. He should know better than to make a throw like this. This is definitely not his best ball. And I think he knew this was trouble the second it was leaving his hand. And the throw left sideline here is caught, but they'll rule it incomplete. Couldn't keep his feet in. Second down. 
On second and ten, Prescott. This throw incomplete, nearly picked off. And with his pedigree, he doesn't drop many of those. But third down coming up. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. Prescott to throw it. And up to the 35 before they're able to knock him down. Able to make something out of nothing there. 17 yards and a first down. Prescott now. And they'll get him down on the other side of midfield. Carter, even I can figure out who deserves the lion's share of credit for their lead right now because he has been terrific in a dual threat role. Really chewing up yardage and getting them points with his legs. Simply put, that defense has had no way of stopping him, and that's why his side is on top. He'll get this one down near the 20-yard line, just shy of the 20. One-quarter down foul on EA Sports. First down, Prescott. And oh, he coughed it up. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. In their locker room, they've got a sign that says defense wins championships. And Charles, they pointed to that this week, said that has to be us looking good early. I like how you saw that because of the bold letters, right? You saw the emphasis that they place on that and what they believe in. And for them, it's every single snap. So it's not just a matter of getting to the quarterback and knocking the ball free. They're trying to read when that ball's going to come free. As soon as those hands separate to throw the ball, they want to be there and have a chance to knock it out. Now we give up the middle to Williams. And he'll get this only up to about the three-yard line. They do get a couple, but they'll be left staring at a third and eight coming up. They'll be in search of eight yards here as they hope to convert the first down. On third down, here's Williams. And a short gain here as he gets it up only to about the six. This defense not budging back-to-back -back carries of just two yards. The Broncos send out their punter now as he's on to kick it away. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. Taking on the midfield logo. A nice work on the return as he gets about 15 yards back. And the Cowboys are going to take over in great position here with a first and 10. Prescott on first down, eluding the pressure right. And that'll be knocked away. It's incomplete. I know he was trying to get the completion downfield, but the way this game has gone, with a few of the runs he's made along the way, he should have kept the ball and taken it with his feet downfield. That's the big play that shreds the defense. Instead, he thought to himself, I'm a quarterback. I've got to throw it. He bailed out the defense with that incompletion. And he's brought down here just outside of the 20. It's really something special when we see a quarterback top 100 yards in one half of football. And if he keeps up this pace in the second half, the NFL record for single game rushing back. And this ball is caught by Lamb. Touchdown, Dallas. Three touchdown passes now for Dak Prescott. And the Cowboys continue to look good here in the first half of this Super Bowl. Mar now to add the extra point. And he's been a busy man, five for five now, as he knocks another one through to extend the lead. Scoring summary, three-play drive. And it's finished off by the touchdown from C.D. Lamb. Following the touchdown, here's Marr to kick it away. And they'll put up the stop sign there as his guys will get it at the 25. Denver's offense ready to go again. And three and out on the last drive. No points on the scoreboard. A little soul searching now? I would say so. And they need to help out their defense a little bit. They've had to be on yeah, the field a lot position. more than normal, put them in some tough spots. But what's the old adage? When you get another chance, it gives you a better chance to do it right. And just three yards on the catch there. He couldn't get away. And that will bring up second down. Wilson. 
Man open. He's got it complete to Cortland Sutton. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. On first and 10, it's Wilson. Flushed out right. And smartly going into the slide there. Wilson has it up for the first. A good gain again. That's now 31 yards combined on those last two plays. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. And his throw is going to be incomplete. This could be the start of a nice stand from this defense now after getting walked backwards on this drive. Come through with another one here, and you have them staring at a third and long, and that puts the defense in a position to dictate to the offense. Now he's going to swing this one out to his running back. That helps the completion percentage, but not much else, and now it's third and ten. As a defense, you're more balanced when you're in zone coverage because you're able to keep your eyes on the quarterback and see the play develop in front of you. They're able to keep the quick pass in front of them and stop it right at the line of scrimmage. Forced out to his left. Wilson hit. It's loose. It's out. Fumble. But this will fortunately wind up out of bounds. He's thankful right now for that sideline because it could have been a fumble loss instead just a fumble, though they will have to punt it down. You're right about that, but do you think there's ever been a player happier to see his own punter go on the field than him? No. I mean, not at all, right? How fortunate is he that they got a chance to punt it away and it's not just a turnover at the spot. And this is a commentary on today's kickers and just how good they are that a coach would think about running his guy out there to try a 59-yarder. Here it backfires on them, but as a kicker, you have to appreciate the confidence that they showed in you. Oh, Zeke with a quick feed, and he'll be dropped just shy of the 35 at the 34. A pickup of 17 on a play that originated at the 17. The running game fully in sync, 1-11 to 11 on that play. And sometimes it comes from the offensive coordinator understanding what he thinks the defense is going to do and dialing up the perfect play. Sometimes the quarterback, though, can look at the defense, realize he needs to change it to a run, and that gets it done in a big way as well. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. Prescott's throw pulled in by Lamb. And this is going to be another first down as they'll make the tackle at the Broncos' 24-yard line. Throwing, Prescott. This is caught by Hilton. And they've got it inside the 10 at the 8. It'll be a gain of 16 for number 16. Good strong throw and catch right there. And so far in this game, the alleys have been open for them to get completions, and they're taking advantage of it. Now Prescott. Got his tight end. That's complete. It's Schultz. A gain of seven that time. Second goal. Not a big window to throw. Coverage wasn't too bad there. Yeah, they had him under wraps pretty well, but somehow able to muscle his way open and catch the ball. Now a second down throw for the end zone, but it's incomplete. It's been a nice day for him as a passer and as a runner. One of the few mistakes he's made in this ball game. The wrong choice on that one. That one goes incomplete. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. Dak Prescott with his third touchdown of this Super Bowl. And the Cowboys are starting to pour it on to the game's biggest stage. They are running away with this Super Bowl. Extra point by Marr, up and good. And the route is on here in this first half. So that drives seven plays in length. And it was all capped off by Dak Prescott, keeping it and taking it in on the touchdown run. It's a squibber picked up around the 27. They're going to take this up close to the 40, so really good starting field position. The Broncos onto the field, ready to start their next drive. And the last time that they were on the field, a little demoralizing. Missed field goal. You know, always feel like you want to get in the end zone, but then, oh, well, at least we're going to get three. Didn't go through the goal post, so. It does test the mental processes of a team, though, doesn't it? Because when you miss a field goal, it's amazing how fast they want to turn on the guy kicking the ball. 
but you need to keep his confidence up because how many times have we seen games where it comes down to a stretch? And guess what? You need that guy to make the big kick for your team to move on or to win a game. Make sure you keep him happy. Make sure you keep him comfortable. I'm sure you always treated the kicker nicely, though, right? You know, truthfully, I did. Good. I always did because those guys, they won us a whole lot of games. Ten more there and another first down. And I don't think there's any question that this offense is going to need to hit on a few more plays like this. It's been a difficult first half for them, to say the least. And I do believe if they want to get back in this game, they need to start right now. It's kind of like making adjustments. If you try to wait until the half, it's probably too late. They need to get going right here. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. From the shotgun, Wilson. And it's a short one here, complete to his tight end. And he'll be out of bounds just inside the 25-yard line. Now it's Wilson. He'll get this one to Patrick. And all the way down inside the five to the four. We have reached the two-minute warning. In fact, just under two minutes to play in the opening half of this year's Super Bowl. Now it's Wilson. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. Line of scrimmage, again the four-yard line, second and goal. Here's Wilson to the end zone, but it's incomplete. Well, this defense is certainly organized and playing off of each other because the rush is providing pressure and the coverage is forcing incompletions and capitalizing on mistakes. When you get every level on defense hitting it once, you get first half scores just like this one. A four yard pickup, not enough, fourth down. Well, it wasn't a big strike. But that completion put them in really great range. What do we have now, fourth and inches? Yeah, it's not more than a half a foot. You know what I would do here? You would always go for it. <laughs> I'm one of those guys. The kick by McManus is good. And they'll get back three, but this remains a large deficit. So a conservative decision there, but it does put them on the board. And I know the players hate it and the coaches hate it, but sometimes you just got to take the points when they're there. Sometimes a field goal is pretty darn good. Fielded just outside the goal line. And some good special teams coverage as they bring him down just outside of the 15. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. And now consider the lead. The question is how much is good enough? Are you going for more? It's the NFL. There's never enough, I believe, because they get reeled in all the time when you sit on the ball. I think that they will try to move the ball downfield, try and squeeze a few more points out of this first half. They'll be careful. They'll be a little bit cautious at times, but also they will attack downfield and try and get in position for at least three points. Oh, what a move. And he's taken down right at the 45-yard line. No one there to help out downfield, but no problem. Scrambling for 22 and a first. <laughs> to throw is Prescott. And he is caught by Lamb. And we're going to get a timeout. With two seconds remaining in the second quarter. Bit of a surprise, they're going for it with two ticks remaining, no side of the field goal unit. Final play of the half, Prescott. And it's knocked away and incomplete. So we've reached Reno and hooked back up with Jonathan. So the halftime show of the Super Bowl abbreviated, ready to go for the second half. These two teams sat through a longer than usual 30 minute wait, but we're back in action here in the Super Bowl. And he will not bring it out. It's a tough of unit here as he'll have it first to begin this third quarter. And right now, their chances of hoisting that Lombardi trophy not looking too great, but perhaps that long halftime, maybe it did him a world of good. But if there's ever a chance to regroup, 
it's in this game, right? Because you do have that long halftime, a chance to really assess things and maybe make some changes and true adjustments. They've played great all year long. That's the worst first half of the season for them. They're hoping to put it behind them and come out punching here in the second half. And not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 26. They'll come to the line here needing nine yards to pick up the first. And he will not be able to hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. The coverage strong, and now it's fourth down. The Broncos send out their punter now as he's on to punt for the fourth time tonight. This is fielded at the 27. Great blocking on the return. It springs him for 25. And this offense, they're going to have excellent field position. They take over with a first and 10 on the short side of the field. The first down carry by Elliott. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. A loss of a full three yards, and now it's second down. Now Prescott. He'll fire deep downfield for Lamb. A battle for it, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Justin Simmons. And the Broncos are going to take over at their own 13-yard line. The Broncos onto the field, ready to start their next drive. Well, we're still in the third quarter, so there's some time to kind of clean this up and make it look more respectable now. A win, that's probably gone out the window, Charles. But I don't know. Do you look at this as a time to just improve and maybe start to look towards the future? I think you have to find something to play for, something to grasp onto until the clock runs out. But Brandon, we've been around this game a long time. This is an outlier. You don't get many blowouts like this no matter how the game looks on paper going in. This one has turned out to be everyone's worst nightmare realized. Now Wilson on first down. On the slant, completes to Sutton. And this will go as a gain of seven as he gets it to the 30-yard line. To throw again is Wilson. Escaping the pressure right. This will complete to Jerry Judy. And they'll work this down inside the 30. We know play callers can be very creative in this game today, but sometimes when they've got receivers with speed like this, they don't need to design incredibly complex calls. Sometimes it's just get the ball in his hands and let him do his thing. In a sense, less can become more, and it was right there. They get 10 more there, and I believe that'll be enough for another first down at will. It's taken a while for this offense to get going. A little creaky at the start, but they're oiled up now. A nice throw there, and they're really putting together a good drive. And they go the wrong way here. Knocked back to the 20. No big surprise, Micah Parsons doing what he does so well, dropping him for a loss. Well, we saw a lot of negative plays that resulted in plenty of lost yardage in the first half, and that trend is continuing here. Another run for Murray on second down. And able to fight forward inside the 15 to the 13. That will go as a pickup of seven on the seventh play of the drive. Out of the gun, here's Wilson. And a quick throw here, that's complete. And he is out of bounds, getting it down to the 10. Fourth down, here's Wilson. Oh, into a sea of defenders and intercepted. Picked up by Trayvon Diggs. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Following the interception, here's Prescott. And the catch made by Hilton. And he's able to get this one all the way past the 30. 23 yards, the final tally. Looking to throw, Prescott. He'll fire deep downfield for Lamb. And a penalty flag comes in as that one winds up incomplete, but the contact is going to move the ball well downfield. 
Well, obviously, they never want to see penalties on that defense, but this one a little bit more significant there on the downfield pass play. And coaches preach it all the time. You can't put yourself in that kind of position if you're the defender. You got to. And this ball is caught by Lamb. Touchdown, Dallas. A great effort there with his third touchdown of the Super Bowl. And the Cowboys are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. Well, he has been fun to watch throwing the football in this one. It's certainly not fun for that defense, though, Charles. Now up to four touchdown passes in this ball game. Yeah, we're supposed to be neutral, but I'm feeling their pain right now because he has absolutely carved up this secondary, a clinic on how to attack the defense and take them out of the game. Pretty clean and simple there. Just two plays, the long pass resulting in the touchdown on play number two. And they'll put up the stop sign there as his guys will get it at the 25. And Denver getting set to take the field. As this offense takes the field again, CD, remember last drive, they were moving the football, but then they threw that costly interception. So we'll see if they can right the ship here on this drive. And doesn't that just sum up football? We see it all the time, don't we? The defense goes from losing the battle to making a huge play and stealing the momentum. So you know they're riding high right now, and they're ready to challenge this offense and that quarterback one more time. And we'll see if the offense is up for that challenge here as things start to get more interesting here in this second half. Flush to his right. This will be caught. Judy. And past the 40 before he's out of bounds. On first down, Wilson. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And he'll be brought down, losing yardage back at the 40. He was unable to shake free there. They'll cover him for a loss of a yard. Throwing again on second down. Wilson. And this one too low. K.J. Hamler, the intended receiver. And it's third down. Now Wilson. Eluding the point. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. The take. Demarcus Lawrence with a sack. The Broncos send out their punter now. As he'll come on for his fifth kick of the night. And he deserves a bronze leg as he gets this one away. Yeah, this is taken at the 23. Gets past one man. A great return there of 22 yards. And it will be first and 10 as they take over. From a star in college to a star in the NFL, CeeDee Lamb at wide receivers. He brings out this offense. Oh, this defense, they wouldn't mind not seeing him again for a while. <laughs> Three trips to the end zone. How about that? I think right now they would happily go to their general manager and say, is there any way you could get a trade for him? Bring him over to our team so we don't have to cover him anymore because he is really having a heck of a ball game, isn't he? Boy, he is. I don't know. Watch his team. A jump ball, and this is caught. It's a gain of 34. The dynamic duo is doing damage in this one, and they've certainly been on point throughout, and they hook up again for another big play. From the red zone now, Prescott. That ball is caught. It's Gallup. Touchdown, Cowboys. A great play there. His second touchdown of the Super Bowl. And the Cowboys are pouring it on. And now before we get to the extra point, remember all touchdowns do have to be confirmed. Time to work. Let's go. So they called it a touchdown originally, and this will stay a touchdown after the video review. So they had it right. Extra point by Marr, up and good. And the lead grows even larger here in the third quarter. Following the touchdown, here's Marr to kick it away. It's a squibber picked up around the 27. And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape as they get it up past the 30. The Broncos onto the field, ready to start their next drive. 
See if they can put this drive in the end zone, Charles, because it, it's been a little bit of a rough go at times. They've had to punt the football a ton in this ball game because of stalled out drives. So are you saying that you're kind of tired of seeing the punter run out there and do his thing during this game? Is that what you're trying to say? You, well, I mean, I'm okay with it. I have a feeling that this offense, they don't want to see the punter again. And frankly, the punter doesn't want to run out there anymore himself. He'd love to see his offense put together a drive and give his leg a rest. From just shy of midfield, Wilson. And he's going to have the hook up to Sutton. And he'll be brought down inside the 40-yard line. Still in search of their first touchdown of the game, but they're on the move. First and 10. Throwing is Wilson. And he will go down. A Cowboys sack. Neville Gallimore powering his way in and burying him. Pass protection has been a problem all night long as they come up facing second and a bundle. Another try after the first down sack. Wilson, and he'll be stopped at the 28. On a play that started at the 14, they pick up 14. They'll throw on first down with Wilson. Got his man complete over the middle. It's Sutton, and he'll be marked out right at the 20-yard line. Just one more quarter remains in the seat here at Super Bowl 57 from Glendale. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Looking middle, and it's incomplete. They lead big, and a major part of that has been how they've taken their play to a whole new level this second half. No points allowed since the break, and you can add another incompletion to the total number that they forced in this runaway contest. No, they would have gotten a conversion if he could hold on. Instead, the drop means it'll be fourth down. They run. It's Williams. And he's not going to get the first. I don't even think he made it back to the line of scrimmage. He needed a couple, but he didn't even get back to the line of scrimmage. And the Cowboys' defense is going to get him the football back. So Prescott of the Cowboys now with a first and 10 at their own 21. He'll hand it off to Elliott to begin the drive. And he'll take it ahead to the 28-yard line. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. And I think we can get used to seeing more of that in this fourth quarter, especially if they're having success on the ground like they did there. Yeah, I think back when we met with the head coach in, in preseason, and all he talked about was building a bully. And I think it was this situation he was envisioning. Trying to ice a game, plenty of time left, but being able to give the ball to his big runner and pound away and try and finish off a game. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. They go to Elliott again. Oh, that's just not fair. And now room to run. That's strong running there as he's across midfield and down to the 49. Give him 18 on that one, and it's a Dallas first down. Inside give to Elliott. And a six-yard gain gets him right around the 43. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. And, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. It'll go down as a two-yard loss, and it brings up a third down. They are in need of six yards here if they hope to move the chains. On third down, it's Prescott. This is caught inside the 15. Touchdown, Cowboys. C.D. Lamb with a record fourth Super Bowl touchdown tonight. And the Cowboys add six more to their point total, and they're on cruise control right now here in the fourth. Extra point by Marr, up and good. And this one was over a while ago as they just add on to that big lead.
Following the touchdown, here's Marr to kick it away. And he'll decide to not bring this one out as their drive will begin at the 25. So the Broncos coming out now. And their Super Bowl hopes are dwindling here in the fourth. That AFC crown from two weeks ago starting to seem like a distant memory. And this one just has not gone as they had hoped. And they're able to get this one across the 35. Throwing now, Wilson on first down. And it's complete. He gets this one to Washington. So five yards here, five on the play. And that'll bring up second down. Wilson. And a high throw there as this is knocked away, down to the ground and incomplete. They come up now, third and five, following the incomplete pass. Wilson will throw again. And that is incomplete, but a penalty flag coming in. This could be a first down. Thought they were going to force a fourth down. Instead, P.I. gives them the first. And that's frustrating because you think you've taken them really deep into the count, haven't you? Instead, you've got to start all over. That can really, really be demoralizing. And that's another play that's painted the picture of this game overall. It's been a blowout. It's been continually fueled by big turnovers and stops for one side and an inability to advance the ball from the other. And once again, not much running room, if any at all. And the Cowboys here on third down bringing in an extra defensive back. To throw is Wilson. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. Second time in this game, Charles, the ball is squirted out from his hands. Luckily, his teammate was there to pounce on it. You're right. Got the lucky bounce, able to retain possession. You know, often, we often talk about the combine and why do we measure quarterbacks' hands. Is that really a big deal? It's for situations like this. Do you have the hands big enough and strong enough to hold on to the football while being jostled? Out comes CeeDee Lamb and the rest of the Dallas offense. What a game for him, Charles. Four touchdowns. Heck, for a lot of guys, that's a good season number. <laughs> You're exactly right. And let's face it, we have to stand up and applaud this one, even though we're supposed to be new. Oh, an absolutely filthy juke. He's got some space now. And he makes it all the way down to the 13-yard line. A big-time gain there on the keeper, using his legs to hurt him. First down. Inside the red zone here, they'll look to throw. And this is caught for a Cowboy touchdown. T.Y. Hilton from 13 yards out. And the Cowboys have got it on cruise control. Extra point by Marr, up and good. And this one was over a while ago as they just add on to that big lead. Following the touchdown, here's Marr to kick it away. And there will not be a return here. It's a touchback, and it'll come out to the 25-yard line. Here's the Denver offense now as they get set to take over here. And it's becoming more and more apparent that this is just not going to be their night. That Lombardi trophy so close, but the expectations simply have not matched the results as they start on this drive first and 10. Toward the center of the field, but it's incomplete. At this point in the game, they've got to continue to try anything they can. They're still working at it, even though this one feels like a lost cause. Again on second and ten, it's Wilson. He's going to drop this one down for Murray. And he's going to get a good gain of nine here up to the 34. And a nice gain and a broken tackle along the way. And really, we shouldn't be surprised, should we? That's what runners do, especially the best ones. They break tackles and gain extra yardage. And the Cowboys pressure gets there this time for the sack. Osa Odegizuo with the effort there to earn the sack. The Broncos send out their punter now as he's on here to punt it away. Fielded at the 33. 
nice punt, but good work on the return to get back 11 yards. And that will come the offense as they take over. Good starting position for the Cowboys here as they come up first and 10 at their own 44. The drive will start with an option going left. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. Considering they've seen him have some big gains against him throughout this game, that's got to feel like a measure of revenge as they trap him behind the line of scrimmage for a loss. They play fake to Elliott. Now Prescott. Now on the run. He'll throw it back deep over the middle. A fight for it, and this is caught. What a catch. Touchdown, Cowboys. Michael Gallup with his third touchdown of this Super Bowl. And the Cowboys just continue to roll. Extra point by Marr, up and good. And this one was over a while ago as they just add on to that big lead. Oh, this is a touch cruel here. They've got the big lead. Now they're going for the jugular with the onside kick. And the Broncos are going to get the football. Well, fourth quarter, they felt like they needed the football back. Unfortunately, they couldn't get it. And... I know we brought analytics into the game, and someone has said here that the data says that when a team's expecting an onside kick, 80% of the time, the team expecting it, they do actually recover the ball, which is what we saw here. I just wonder if that number is much more of a anecdotal type of a number, kind of like when the coaches tell us, well, when you score on special teams, 93% of the time you win the game. I'm still waiting to see that number is empirical. Flushed out right. And he will slide to a stop. He does have the first down. Four yards there as they let him out of the pocket, and he got enough for the first. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Here's Wilson to throw. And his throw is going to be incomplete. That incompletion brings us one step closer to the end of this one. Maybe mercifully, partner. And let's face it, though, no surprise they're still flinging it around. They have pride, too. Absolutely nobody fooled there. He's going nowhere fast as he stopped behind a line of scrimmage. It'll go as a loss of a yard, so now they deal with third and 11. Now Wilson. And a throw there going to be incomplete. This has obviously been a bad loss, but one of the few things they can still do is try and throw the ball all the way to the end zone and get some points on the board so they're not shut out over the final two quarters of this game. He had the distance, but it's no good. Wide to the right, and they will remain well, well behind. Well, listen, now, no kick from 50-plus is a gimme, but here you're indoors in a dome. You'd think ideal conditions. Yeah, and it's one that he would expect himself to make, not just us expecting him to make it. Over the years, my theory is very simple. The athletic ability of kickers continues to get better and better. Check their backgrounds. They were all county, all state, and other positions, not just soccer players. These guys expect themselves to be great as well. On second down, Elliott once more. He finds some open field here. And he takes this just a few yards shy of the red zone before going out. 87 yards on the ground for him now as he has gotten better, really, as the night's going on. Tenth carry now for Elliott. And just no chance of turning the corner. He can only get back to the line of scrimmage. Second and ten coming up. So after the run for no gain, here's second and ten. Again, it's Elliott. Oh, a heck of a move. Oh, man. And he gets it inside the 10 to the 9. It's a really nice 15-yard pickup, and now it's first and goal. They run straight ahead here with Pollard. And he gets halfway home from the 10 to the 5 on a pickup of 5. This drive is pretty clear. Almost feels like old school fundamentals, doesn't it? Want to impose their will on the defense. Was that five straight runs? Yeah, five straight carries to start this drive. And like you said, the way it's working, they may just stick with it. And he's going to press this one forward as they stop it right around the one. Third and goal as they look to pour some more salt in the wound. 
They'll try to run it in with Elliott. And this play doesn't work at all as he's going to be marked down behind the line after the dive. No gain on the play. And what to do now on fourth and goal? They'll run it with Elliott. And he takes it in for the score on the game's final play. So it doesn't affect the outcome, but a little whipped cream on top to their ending. Or as our friends in Bayou country would say, that's a little lead.